Welcome to Guardian TV. I'm your host, Johnny Lasagna. Last week, the Architects announced sweeping changes will be coming in Season 15. But first, our live coverage of the heartwarming reunion between a Screeb and his owner, after being separated for two long years. That's right, come to Daddy Muffins. No, no! Truly devastating footage. Our hearts go out to that Guardian. And always remember to have your pets spayed and neutered. In more recent news, Zavala has entered us into another war with the Cabal for not bending the knee to Empress Keitel, resulting in assault across the system. Many Guardians are taking advantage of this situation to steal Cabal gold and other gear that nobody really cares about. Being four weeks into the season, the general consensus surrounding the battleground assaults is, fuck those meatballs, bruh. A study shows that 90% of accidental deaths in recent weeks are a result of standing under drop pods, while the other 10% are from fucking up a 12-man Atrax encounter by not going upstairs. Saint-14 is back in the news today for indefinitely suspending trials of Osiris, as more than 50% of participants were wind trading. There is no word as of now when trials will reopen. In my opinion, when it does, rewards should be issued each match, reducing the desire to engage in illegal activities surrounding the sport. Across the system, Guardians are stacking fire teams two to four times more than the allowed number of participants in raids, nightfalls, and even the battleground assaults. The architects have issued a statement saying, have fun, we will be restricting access down to the normal amount of allowed participants, by March 14th when Grandmaster Nightfalls become available. This week there are double rewards in Nightfalls, making this the perfect time to get a 12-man fire team together and grinding the shit out of Master Nightfalls all day. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Mirthmobile coming this December. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. And so that was the summer that... I found out that you should never party naked. In a world where sunsets never end, swords bend the laws of reality, and sweat lords aimbot their way to flawless victories, one guardian walks the line between light and dark. In other news, surveillance drones from the edge of the system are reporting that the Witch Queen Savathun has decided to spend Christmas with what little family she has left, but promises that we will be annihilated early next year. The Vanguard has announced that there will be no more sunsetting of gear. Everything you can use now will be available to use at the max power caps indefinitely, meaning to the dismay of many Guardians, Felwinter's lie is not going anywhere. To clarify, everything sunset to this point will stay sunset, and all the gear from Season of the Worthy up to now and going forward will be allowed to use in all high-stakes activities. Let's take a moment to remember the most cherished weapons lost to sunsetting in the past year. Due to Guardian fatigue, the Vanguard has decided to only raise the seasonal cap by 10 power instead of 50 power, while annual raises in power will not be reduced. The change is expected to start in Season 14. Saint 14 and Shax have made the decision to restrict the use of emotes and swords with no ammo in Trials of Osiris and Survival. This is an attempt to restrict remote viewing through ghosts, otherwise known as three-peaking. Well, that's all the time that we have for you this week. Next week, expect live calls and more coverage of what's going on and what's coming across the system. What up, you turds? This is Johnny Lasagna Gaming.